So during the first day of my first year in college, I was very scared, right? I had only like very little friends from high school. So we were seated together. And then suddenly in the room, seniors came. So like upperclassmen. And you know they're upperclassmen because duh, they're wearing the uniform. And we weren't still wearing our uniform. So these upperclassmen came in and then they said, You, why did you choose physical therapy? And then I was so scared. Is he asking me? And then I said, um, I chose physical therapy because it's a good pre-med and I want to help people. I think that's what I said. Although knowing me, I probably said a lot more things. But basically that's what I said. And I feel like those two reasons are the reasons why every student will actually get into a pre-medical degree because they want to be a doctor and they also want to help. So what are the certain like reasons that actually makes physical therapy stand out, right? So today we're going to discuss that and let's start with the first reason which is shortened time. Well, in retrospect, not really shortened time but physical therapy before took five years and that was one of the factors why I never really considered physical therapy because I wanted to finish college as fast as I can, as soon as I can, as easy as I can and with five years in college, I felt like that was too much time but then because of the K-12 to curriculum, the five-year physical therapy program got shortened into a four-year program. That means three years of learning in the school and then you have one year for internship. So that was one of the factors that I, you know, I think a lot of you guys don't know because a lot of people still ask me, Kuya Max, um, is physical therapy five years or four years? Or is it still, you know, some people don't know it. I don't know why it's also not publicized, but here's the news flash. Physical therapy is four years. And if I'm not mistaken, also occupational therapy and yeah, occupational therapy. There, I think four years na lang. If you counted out physical therapy because it took five years originally, now in the new curriculum, it's only four years. So it levels out with almost all the other pre-med courses. So choose physical therapy. So the next reason why I chose physical therapy is it has a lot of patient interaction. So unlike the other courses who, yes, they do have patient interaction, but I feel like the patient interaction in the scope of rehab is it goes more intimate and it really becomes a relationship between you and your patient because you don't only treat them once or treat them twice you actually journey with them and you have this um, list of the goals that they want to achieve and you as a PT you're going to help your patient achieve those goals so it's from point A to point B you will journey together and you will you will form a bond and seeing your patient progress I can only imagine how fulfilling that must be and that kind of patient interaction is the patient interaction that I really really want I don't want to have just like a you know one-time interaction thing like hey mom hi welcome to whatever I want like a like a journey with that patient and I know it sounds so idealistic but really I'm that kind of person and I want to be there for the patient whenever he or she progresses or whether or when he or she you know achieves certain milestones sa iyang prognosis so yeah patient interaction and plus i'm a very friendly person i think i hope i'm a very friendly person so let's go to the next reason while physical therapy is very heavily reliant on your memorization skills physical therapy also offers you a lot of avenues to learn so for example if you are a visual learner it's very easy for you to study the body because you can actually picture it out and there are a lot of visual aids to 
help you actually memorize the muscles, the bones, even down to its cellular level. There's a lot of models for that. Um, if you are an auditory learner, oh my gosh, so many lectures you have to listen to. And what makes it fun would be there are certain things we have to memorize and to make them easier, um, awesome PTs actually made songs out of the things that we have to memorize. So if you're an if you're an auditory learner, that's really gonna be easy for you. If you're also a tactile or kinesthetic learner, my gosh, grabe. It, and it will be really easy for you because in physical therapy you're gonna study a lot of movements. Movements sa imong joints, sa imong muscles, movement of um, your body as a whole, you know, kinematic chains, open and closed kinematic chains, um arthrokinematics. Kinetics, osteokinematics, osteos. <laughs> I, basta. You're gonna learn that. And, you know, it's easier for you to learn because you can actually move. Um, the next reason why you should take up physical therapy is because it is dynamic. If you think that your future career would be routinary, then you are wrong. Because every patient or every client that comes to you would require a different approach, would each have a different um, list of goals, would each have a different um, disability. And all of those unique differences of a patient would actually um, make the therapist or make you be alert at all times. What do I mean by that? What I mean is you cannot remain stagnant in your knowledge. The nature of the profession commands you to actually keep studying and keep reading on the newest techniques and the newest exercises and you know, you have to be always in you have to always be in the pursuit of of the best practices for your patient because you know, we're evidence-based practice man ang profession. So, you really have to keep on reading. And because of that, I feel like I will never get bored in physical therapy because patient A will be different from patient B and patient B will be different from patient C. And with those three patients, I'm gonna have to keep learning and I'm gonna have to keep honing my skills to make sure that they only get the best service. Does it make sense? So, the next reason is this is a very personal reason and it's because what you study in physical therapy you can actually see okay let's repeat that again okay so what you study in physical therapy you can actually see so all that you study whether it be therapeutic exercises um, whether it be um, kinesiology whether it be anatomy and physiology after you read it you can actually really see and apply it already in real life. Like, I remember the one time when we were discussing about um, gait patterns and assessment and evaluation of gait. After we went out of the classroom, whenever we see people walking, we immediately look at their gait pattern and try to assess unsang weak muscles or unsang strong muscles sa ilaha. So it's really fun because the thing that you read you see right away. So for me, it makes it like it makes studying really easier. So the next reason, I know codigos are bawal in a lot of courses. I think in all courses, it's bawal. But physical therapy gives you an advantage. You know why? Because your body is your biggest codigo. And that was an advice that was uh, passed down to me from an upperclassman and he said don't worry in the exam you will have a codigo and I said what are we allowed to cheat in this school and then he said no your body is your biggest codigo and I and I was just so mind blown I remember being so mind blown and when I was taking the anatomy exam true enough your body will really be your biggest codigo, especially when it comes to origin and insertion and action of the muscle. When you read your test paper, you just have to do it with your hands and then, you know, you will know again or at least 
common sense gani common sense ang in that sense there is common sense to what you're studying oh my gosh i think i'm really not making sense anymore next reason is um physical therapists are needed by everyone and i mean everyone because physical therapists do not only treat those with injuries or disabilities or impairments already physical therapists also work to prevent you from having those in the first place healthy people they need physical therapy those with injuries or impairments or disabilities they need physical therapy and for those who are recovering from their injury they need physical therapy so as you can see this is something that not a lot of Filipinos know about how important the practice is and how much you can give back to your community or to your society because of what you have learned because everyone can benefit from you whether it be as simple as ergonomics or to proper body mechanics or even to as complex as exercise plans or treatment plans you can help a lot of people with what you know and for me that was the biggest that really was the biggest reason because i really want to help people and want to touch other people's lives and i feel like in the rehab setting i can do that most effectively because i can connect with a person help them teach them and make them aware of how the body is really so wonderful and how the body can heal and how the body can bounce back so i feel like i want to be that type of person who will inspire others that their current setback is just propelling them for their great comeback and i want to be a tool used by the lord for them to be able to experience that char so those are my reasons why i chose physical therapy if you are a physical therapy student or if you are a licensed physical therapist comment down below why you chose this profession i want to read that and i want to know more as to how diverse this course actually is and if you're a high school student who is interested and curious about actually taking up physical therapy comment down below your questions i'll try my best i'll try my best to answer them and i hope that you like this video i hope this was fun entertaining and also informative do give it a like do give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet there will be more videos like this really and yeah see you in the next one bye